Repent, you wicked woman. You wicked woman. You are a wicked mom. Whatever my pen don't get, God gon' get. Ask about my prophecies. Y'all want a Roman? Okay. <laughs> okay. I'm sorry it took so long. No worries. We made it. We bring, made bring it. That, you got a brand new one. Yay. And I'm going to get those roaches because I think that refrigerator is roaches in there. And we'll take them down here. And I bombed, I bombed a couple of days ago behind the stove mm -hmm. and took all the burners and stuff out. So hopefully, yeah. and I'll sweep before you change it. Okay. It looked like there was a leak or something in there. Oh, probably because that's why it's not working. This new one, I don't think it has a handle on it. It's, just, it's got the thing at the top. On the top of the door, you just pull Okay, cool. I'm excited. Thank you so much. Can I... <laughs> I had to throw away. I didn't have to throw away a lot. Surprising, because like butter and stuff, you don't have to keep it in the refrigerator. Yeah. I did, you know, throw some dinners away early, but other than that, cheese and stuff, I didn't really have anything. Do I have to throw away my dressings and stuff? Do you think like? I don't know. Um, I know some biscuits burst, you know, from being yeah. in there with no. But other than that. I mean, ketchup and mustard up oh, now. I don't think so. Well, I keep my ketchup and mustard in there, so I think we're good, honestly. <laughs> it wasn't too bad. I mean, I was kind of like getting worried because the freezer still works, so. Yeah. And I had the freezer <laughs> gone out. Mm -hmm. That had the freezer gone out, yeah. that would have been a problem, but luckily the freezer didn't go out.
Is it the sound that's in the way? I can't tell. Yeah, I must be near. Hello goddess, welcome to Lifestyle Colin YouTube channel. My name is Colin and I am back in your algorithm with the vibes. If you are a returning subscriber, welcome and hello. If you are new to my channel, thank you so much for clicking on this video and spending time with me today. Please subscribe to my channel and vibe with the guys. Okay, so in today's video, we are just doing the most per usual i actually have quite a bit planned for this vlog this is just going to be a daily vlog today is actually sunday february 4th i don't know how long it's going to take me to get this vlog uploaded i have to start calling them vlogs because at first i was calling them vlogs and it's definitely a vlog it won't take me long to get this uploaded i had to turn around because my light source was behind me so it was, it was really making me look really really dark so I had to come around on the other side of my table and we will also be addressing that today too let me get my notes of what I wanted to talk about today so today is day 96 of our 400 day mile marathon I'm inching and moving along y'all know my life is really low-key really humble I already know I'm on section 8 food stamps this apartment is small ASF <laughs> but I love it I get to homeschool my girls every day we are continuing on with our lesson I cook breakfast lunch dinner snacks we walk to the store sometimes to get our snacks we play at the park yesterday I might start capturing that on my YouTube channel we went to the park yesterday and we just relaxed and had a good time my window is behind me and I'm gonna talk about that I guess right now I was watching this weekend Hold up, I don't want to start there. This is what I want to start with. I know my church followers are going to look at me sideways when I say this, but I anointed my home, this apartment, for the very first time at the end of January. It's like January 30th. I actually took a bottle of olive oil and I anointed the four corners of each of the windows and both bedrooms and in the living room and then I anointed the exterior of my apartment and the four posts on the outside of my door and I'm going to insert a TikTok little video so you can see how to anoint your home how to anoint and pray over your home pray aloud in every room anointing every doorway and window asking the Holy Spirit to rest rule and reside in your home Pray that God blesses your home, everyone who lives there and everyone who walks through the door. Pray that your home is covered under the blood of Jesus from all powers of darkness, encamping angels around it and putting a shield of protection from any hurt, harm or danger. I pray that this home will be a place of rest, peace, joy and strength. And lastly, say, Lord, I consecrate and dedicate this home to you, believing and receiving that your will will be done here. It's time to anoint your home. I kept seeing viral videos saying it's time to anoint your home. 
it's time to anoint your home. And I was like, you know what? I have never anointed this apartment. So we finally did it at the end of January. And the verse that we use to anoint our home, and I'm going to read it for you today. We use Psalm 91. I used to go to school every day and I would read that verse on the way to school. So I'm so grateful that I had a parent who actually made me do that. We started doing it when I was in elementary, middle school, and it has stuck with me for my entire adult life. I find myself calling on that because, of course, I memorized it. I find myself calling on that chapter in the Bible very, very often. I'm going to read it now. Like I said, this is not a preachy channel, but I just want to share it. Let me go to Psalm 91, which is what we are reading for today. And my daughters almost have it by heart. I'm still making them read it every night, but they're trying to like not look and commit it to memory. So I'm so proud. I'm so happy about that. Between Psalm 91 and Psalm 23, like committing those to memory is just so comforting when you need to have those scriptures and you've known them for forever. So you know that they are true. I'm so glad that they're learning it. But I just want to read Psalm 91 because I feel like it's very relevant for this time. So you're going to anoint your homes. We did Psalm 91 and it says, I don't know which translation this is. This is just in my Bible app. You can look it up to whatever translation. So it says, he that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge and my fortress. My God, in him will I trust. Surely he shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and from the noise and pestilence. He shall cover thee with his feathers and under his wings shalt thou trust. His truth shall be thy shield and buckler. Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arrow that flieth by day, nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness, nor for the destruction that wasteth at noonday. A thousand shall fall at thy side and ten thousand at thy right hand, but it shall not come nigh thee. Only with thine eyes shalt thou behold and see the reward of the wicked. Because thou hast made the Lord, which is my refuge, even the most high thy habitation, there shall no evil befall thee, neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling. For he shall give his angels charge over thee to keep thee in all thy ways. They shall bear thee up in their hands, lest thou dash thy foot against a stone. Thou shalt tread upon the lion and adder, the young lion and the dragon, shalt thou trample under feet. Because he has set his love upon me, therefore will I deliver him. I will set him on high, because he hath known my name. He shall call upon me, and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. With long life will I satisfy him and show him my salvation. And so the scripture that I want you to pay attention to in this reading, I've set it aside because in another translation, it actually says what I needed it to say. But it says in Psalms 91 and verse 13, it says, You will tread on the lion and the cobra. You will trample the great lion and the serpent. So make sure you just pay attention to that because as I get further along in this video, I'm going to touch on what happened between Megan Thee Stallion and Nicki Minaj in just a few minutes. But first, I wanted to talk about what I wanted to talk about. So we talked about Psalm 91, anointing your homes. Kai Sinat and 21 Savage caught my attention last week because I got to see Kai Sinat's Twitch. I got to see his setup. He lost a huge bet to 21 Savage and he broke everything in his studio. But 21 Savage turned the camera around and we got to see his layout. It's an humble, small layout, but Kai Sinat makes so much money on the internet that I was like, you know what? That's very similar to my space. So I want to make my studio look like that so i'm gonna insert that video clip here damn kai <laughs> you broke hey. everything bro what the i was gonna pull up on you this nigga kai broke everything yeah, bro. <laughs> say dada da. say dada da. oh <laughs> 300 000, bro <laughs> it's not funny bro <laughs> 
I'm dead ass, bro. Three hundred thousand. <laughs> And what I liked about it is this is how I will be. I'm going to sweep, mop, and get everything set up and cleaned up. I'm not showing you what it looks like now because everything below here needs to be organized and gotten together. I am going to work on that today. But I'll show you the after, what my studio looks like after I set it up. But I was so inspired by Kai Sanat that I wanted to mention it on today's vlog that that's how I will be setting up my space in here because I need the light from this window as you can see because it totally did not work when it was behind me so I will be changing that I will start working on that right now and then when I come back we're going to talk about Megan Thee Stallion and Nicki Minaj but I just want to definitely be praying while I'm you know cleaning up to make sure that I say the right things they both need a lot of help they both have it's obvious that they both have trauma going on in their lives that they need healing from and we all do i'm a little bit younger than Nicki minaj and about 10 years older than megan the stallion but i have done a lot of healing work and you will see a lot of the results of that on this channel in the next coming videos but they both need you know some healing i cannot fix my mouth ever to speak on anybody's journey but i can say that they need a lot of healing because they're both very hurt women and i'm going to speak on that i'm going to speak on that and i want to be very specific because there's really only just one thing that i just shared with you you might be able to pick up on it there's just one thing that i really want for megan the stallion to relook at again but i know she is in tight with rock nation and one thing about beyonce and jay-z is you know I love Beyonce. I love Beyonce. I grew up in Houston. I actually had the opportunity to visit her mother's salon. She was sitting right next to me when I was maybe 15. It was cool. You know what I've known her, but we know who each other, we know who each other is or whatever the verb I'm supposed to use is. But I love me some Beyonce. Her and her husband have gone off the deep end. And if you want to find videos about that on YouTube, you can. I'm not digging that up. I will follow Beyonce to the ends of the earth. I'm not going to hell for Beyonce. And that's just where I leave it. Her, her voice and her music have ministered to my life so beautifully since they came out. They're off the deep end with the spiritual witchcraft, the demonic energy. It's just... You can't miss it, you know, especially someone like me who I take pride in being in tune with the things of God. You can't miss how lost they are. I don't know if if they'll ever find their way back. I don't know. That's not for me to call I, and I cannot send anybody to heaven or hell. I can't feel energy and I'll just leave it at that if you want to pray for them pray for them but I feel like it's a lost cause with them and that's who Megan Thee Stallion has linked with and I don't want to get ahead of myself you know but with the whole cobra and hiss and when you align yourself with the image that represents the enemy of God you are setting yourself up for no matter how successful you are you're setting yourself up for how I want to call it you're setting yourself up for a detrimental end for your life so and we've seen that you know that people want to call this the Kobe Bryant year I love Kobe Bryant love Kobe Bryant just like the next person his life was so inspirational I'm still I still am inspired by him and I still cry on the anniversary with him and his daughter Gigi and all those people on that helicopter I still cry but when you align yourself and with your brand your logo the imagery a snake the very first biblical enemy satanic imagery demonic imagery the snake is is not of God that does not represent God anywhere the closest thing to God a snake can be is some snake skin shoes or some snakeskin purse. Maybe you could slide with it that way and that's why I have, you know, some snake on my page because I, I like fashion like that as far as snakeskin clothes and shoes and accessories. But as far as that being my brand, absolutely not. 
absolutely not. For Megan Thee Stallion to have found such a high level of success with the representation of a snake, it seems, you know, lucrative and fun for now, but I just pray for her. It's going to end. You want it to be holy. You want it to be of God or it's a lake of burning fire is what you're looking forward to. Some people are okay with that. As a Christian, as a person who studies the Bible and tries to align themselves with the things, things of Jesus and of Christ, you have to be okay with, and I say this all the time, you have to be okay with people that you love going to hell. But you have to make sure that you are on the right side of things. But you you have to let go. There a, comes a point in time where you have to let go. And we're going to get into that, of course, more. I wanted to get my studio set up. And I also wanted to do a review. So let's do the review. And my daughters have been waiting for me to do this. So let's get started with that. Okay, so I am about to do a smoothie box review. My cousin sent me the smoothies and they come in this big box. Of course they can, it comes with insulation and everything. They have to stay cold. And I'm about to make one. It comes with like frozen ice and insulation and everything. And But this is the box that it came in. This is where I keep it in here. And this also came with it, the whey protein. This is where I keep it in the freezer. This is actually a new freezer refrigerator because my refrigerator broke. The freezer still worked, so I was able to keep the smoothies in the freezer, but they had to give me a new refrigerator and it came the first of the month. So we're very grateful and thankful for that. And I'll just go ahead and show you. This is what my refrigerator is looking like before we do our grocery haul. So I'm gonna re-up on everything, but I couldn't use my refrigerator, so I had to throw everything out. So I'm having to get everything new. I did keep my dressings. I think these are still good because it was a little cold, but it wasn't as cold as it should be. Okay, so the three flavors that my cousin got for me are, let's see, what is this? Strawberry, banana, green, And the last one is berry. This one is berry. And then she got me whey protein as well. I think for today, we are going to do strawberry banana. So let me put these back in the freezer. Okay, so here's my blender. And what comes in the bag is, oh wow, strawberry banana, sweet potato. It says strawberry banana, sweet potato, hemp seeds, lemon, beetroot, cauliflower, two servings, 80 calories, no sugar added or artificial ingredients. Organic ingredients, strawberry, banana, smoothie mix. So I'm about to make one of these up. Empty the pouch and add eight to 12 ounces of liquid into the blender. Add any extra ingredients. We have hundreds of recipes on our website. Okay, so this is what I'm about to do. And there's one, two, three, four, five. So five come in a box, wow. Five come in a box and this is servings for two people. So this is actually gonna be three servings. I'm gonna just divide it up between me and my daughter and see if I have to make another one, I will. But for the first one, I just want you to see how I make it. So I have one out, I'm gonna put this back in the freezer and then start blending. Some water 
for now. Once I figure out how it tastes and see what it needs, I'll probably add other something else to it, but uh, another liquid, but we'll see what, it, what it's giving. Okay, so I'm just gonna make sure that my blender is set up right. Put mine in here and just sip on it. Okay, so I just got the notification that my groceries are about to be here, but I wanted to show you the progress that I made on getting this table, this work table moved up to the window so that I can have that light face in my face and I'm facing the natural light instead of it being behind me, but I had to sweep and mop my floors and kind of get everything back organized and together. So that is what I am working on and what I'll be working on until the groceries get here. I have some packages, a whole bunch of packages here that we can open together as well. And I will do my Nicki Minaj and Megan Thee Stallion commentary. Tonight is the night of the Grammys and I saw that they faked an award for Nicki Minaj. So it's a lot going on. I'll talk about it in a second. Okay, welcome to the food stamp haul portion of today's daily vlog video. I promise, promise, promise I'm going to get my lighting together in this section for the portion of the videos but not today. I, I'm so thankful to Kai Sanat for showing his little setup because I'm about to show it to you. I, I still have tons of work to do over there, but it is the desk is pushed to where I want it to be to get started on my content journey, which this has been a long start. And I will get into some videos about that too. Sometimes your start is slow, but just keep going, keep going, keep going. Let's get into the groceries that I got. So I got some ground beef, just regular pure ground beef, turkey breast lunch meat, honey smoked turkey breast lunch meat, some organic blueberries. I got a creamer inspired by Caramel Macchiato. This is the Starbucks brand. If you can see that. It looks like it might be the holiday edition. I got some Baby Bell cheese. These are good little snacks to pick up when you're just a little hungry. Sugar for the Kool-Aid. And I put sugar in my spaghetti. So yes, we have to have sugar. These are so good. These P.F. Chang's, you have to find the one that you like because they have a variety of these. But we like the chicken lo mein. So I got two of those from P.F. Chang's. These little skillet dinners that are quick and easy. Some Lay's. These are my daughter's. You know, I don't do Lay's. I do Doritos, but my daughter likes Lay's. So we got some Lay's, some bananas. Now in this video, I'm gonna show you what I put in my daughter's hair masks. So I'm just gonna show you that really quick. And I'm also going to make a YouTube shorts video, but I got the, some of the stuff that I'm gonna need. I use bananas, avocados, mayonnaise, and honey and i think that's all that i got in this haul but there are some other things but you'll see those other things when i actually make the shorts video but i got some 100 percent pure raw and unfiltered honey so that is for their hair and then the mayonnaise that i got was avocado oil mayonnaise 
and the of course the bananas are organic and the avocados are organic i got some two bite brownies i don't know what happened to these blueberries but it's a four count and two of them are turned over to the side but the label is still still so i guess just in transit they got kind of disheveled and i got some glazed donuts for good snacks I got one of the YouTubers that I follow, she did a video last night where she put oats and honey granola in her oatmeal. And I said I wanted to try that. So I got some oat and honey granola. My daughters like the Go-Go Squeeze yogurts. So I got some of those. Y'all know what this is. Ramen noodles, chicken flavor. We got some King's Hawaiian hamburger buns. These are good. I like to eat these when I make sloppy joes. These are really good with sloppy joes. I'm about to warm up some sloppy joes right now, but because I was waiting to do my grocery haul, we using bread, but at least we had some bread, so I gotta be thankful. Silk coconut milk, mandarin oranges, Mexican pork cheese blend, the same YouTuber that I follow, that I watch her vlogs, she suggested this Biscoff cookie butter. I'm allergic to peanut butter, but she said that this would be good to try on your cookies, so I got some. I got the Suja Organic drinks. This one has apple, celery, cucumber, kale, and collard greens. This one has apple, mango, banana, cucumber, and melon. And this one has cucumber, celery, grapefruit, green chard, and lettuce. Now, I did just make a smoothie that my cousin has sent me. She sent me three different flavors of smoothies with five bags in them. They tasted healthy. They tasted healthy. So I'm gonna have to probably do some more to it to make it taste good. I'm probably gonna start adding some creamer in it to give it more of a sweet taste. But we'll see. I got some more chicken tortilla can soups. These are our favorites. We still have to try the other ones, but I know I want to stay stocked up on these because they're the ones that we like. I got some Vermont maple syrup sausage, breakfast sausage. These are good. I got some orange juice. We use Minute Maid Original. And the Insure Plus, because we are on a weight gain journey. As far as a weight gain check-in, I am currently at 137. My goal is 150. I want it to be at that goal by Valentine's Day. I don't think that I am going to make it, but I'm going to keep trying. I'm going to keep trying. As a matter of fact, let me pop one of these open and start drinking it right now. And I'm going to eat a good solid dinner and go to bed really full. And I should be good. So Thank you so much for watching my food stamp grocery haul. And now on to the next part of the video. So we are back. And I want to start my Megan Thee Stallion and Nicki Minaj commentary. There are some packages here that I'm going to be opening while I am talking. And I did get my setup like I wanted it with my window this way so when it in the daytime it's actually nighttime right now so i do have a light on but in the daytime i can have natural lighting from that large window right there so shout out to kai Sanat again thank you so much for the inspiration but as far as Nicki minaj and megan the stallion i got some more glue rings the whole situation started when megan the stallion released a diss record. It dissed a lot of people. It dissed Nicki Minaj, of course. Some people say this Drake, Joe Budden felt like he was dissed. Some bloggers felt like they caught some backlash in it. I felt disrespected from a lyric. I mean, I think she she just just did a whole round. She just shot at everybody in this song, and. The one line that was directed towards Nicki Minaj was, you not mad at Megan, you mad at Megan's law. Let me see if I can find the exact lyric. These hoes don't be mad at Megan, these hoes mad at Megan's law. 
And Megan's Law is named after seven year old Megan Conca, who was R'd and K'd by a known child MO who had moved across the street from the family without their knowledge. In the wake of that tragedy, the Conca's sought to have local communities warned about SOs in the area. That hit Nicki Minaj's heart because of who she is married to. And she is currently married to Kenneth Petty. And I wanna stop right there. And I have to address this in this video. I just have to say that Nicki Minaj is married to Kenneth Petty, period. That is her husband, but with that being her husband, Nicki Minaj has to be mindful of the ease at which people who don't like her, that's an easy target. Like, I don't know why you as Nicki Minaj chose Kenneth Petty to be your husband and child's father. But that's none of my business. I would have never in a million years been as successful, had acquired such success as Nicki Minaj and chose Kenneth Petty. Even if he wasn't a registered SO, he still wouldn't have made the cut. That's just not the level of man that a Nicki Minaj should have attracted with her energy. I just don't think he was the one. I would have kept looking if I were her, but it is what it is. You just want to have to accept that you are an easy target for people to talk down on you. And that's just what it is. I got some more practice lash strips. When Nicki Minaj heard the diss, she went off. And I mean, she went off for some days. It wasn't just like one tweet, two tweets. She went off for days and then she released her own disc called Bigfoot. I got some tweezers. These are from Ava Lash Co. I absolutely love her. She is Ava Lash Co. on Instagram. These are her tweezers. Ah, so cute. This is her logo. Let me hold it up so you can see it. Is it? I don't think it um, focused, but see now if it'll focus I don't know if it did or not but I have a lash coat where I got these tweezers from so I can get to work but yes Nicki Minaj that is always going to be an easy target for people to attack her with because of who she chose to marry now I want to take it a step further a lot of people accused her of being under the influence of something during this whole rant i mean it was it was a uh, low it was so low vibrational so i was like oh my gosh this is so low like geez because it was just ridiculous she was going on and on talking about lying on your dead mama i felt like it was an amy winehouse situation i feel like he's her you know i feel like he is getting her illicit substances kenneth petty is not the man for Nicki minaj we know she can't even smoke a whole blunt she do not need to be over there on drugs i feel like she has something it's, it's a ride over there i mean and i'm gonna insert the photo of her last upload which was her wig I got some dental bibs to do my lashes on. And remember how Amy Winehouse used to have that winged eyeliner that was always looking crazy? Her wig was crazy. I got some protective shield to do my quick weaves. I have some hair that I want to do a quick weave for. Oh my gosh. I feel like I'm watching Amy Winehouse. If somebody does not go over there and get her away from this man, Kenneth Petty. I wasn't raised in the streets. I was raised with a platinum spoon in all honesty. I still understand the streets. So for her to have lived and grown up in the streets, in such a close proximity to the streets, she should be the first person to understand that she is a walking lick for Kenneth Petty. She is a lick to him. She wanna say she's so in love, a man will never love you. And for her to feel like Kenneth Petty is truly in love with her and not treating her like the lick that she is to him, 
it's beyond me like it's just a textbook lick you are a lick to him period once the relationship honeymoon stage is over which it is over it's been what how many years you have a child together i don't know what kind of income he has but i can guarantee you it's not on the level that Nicki minaj should have a man on and he's about to start doing whatever it takes to make sure that he don't get put out of her empire Oh look, I got these cute little mirrors. Look, this one is silver and bling bling, diamond bling. And I got this one in pink, how cute. This one, yes, hello, this is my setup. Oh, that is my camera. Pink mirror, so cute. She's a walking lick, and that's what I wanted to say. Almost poor Nicki Minaj. Like, how could you ever fix your mouth to say poor Nicki Minaj? Girl, I don't even know how to advise you to get out of that situation. In all honesty, I don't even know. I don't even know. I don't even know. I do not even know, like, how I was suggest for you to start easing out of that situation. That man, he's a registered SO. The father of your only child, you had your child in your late 30s, 40s, your geriatric stage. Like, girl, how could you make such solid business decisions for your career to have such an amazing career and allow this man, you are spiraling to the pit, the pit, the bottom of the pit. You are spiraling and it's so sad to see. It's so sad to see. Now, as far as Megan Thee Stallion, Megan Thee Stallion's situation is, she has aligned herself and her brand with a cobra, a snake. And I'm gonna insert a picture here so you can see what I'm talking about. And a snake is the first image that the Bible uses to represent Satan. And in Psalm 91, the scripture that I read at the beginning of this video, one translation calls, says adder, another translation says dragon, and another translation says cobra. I can't wait to see the level of success Megan Thee Stallion reaches with this. However, and I said this before in this video, there will be an end you will have to face God. The verse in Megan Thee Stallion's his record that spoke to me was, and I'll insert it here, all of you bitches is weak on the Bible, talking shit from where no one can find you. And I read you the scripture as to why you can't find me, Megan. You will tread on the lion and the cobra. You will trample the great lion and the serpent. I mean, all I do is find ways to get closer to God. And I'm protected. I'm protected under his wings. You're going to have to meet God before you meet me, honey. That's just what it is. And I don't say that jokingly. I don't say that in any type of jest. But that's just what it is. And yes, I depend heavily on the word of God and on the Bible. And I would suggest that you turn around or stop repent and find god for yourself i would highly suggest that the reason that i was so hesitant to start a youtube channel is because i'm on section eight i'm on food stamps i can't complain and i won't complain but just from the outside looking in you like oh she broke she don't have nothing no she i would be one of the broke people living paycheck to i don't even get a paycheck i don't even have a job there's no paycheck but I know where my help comes from. I know where my resources come from. I know where my life comes from. And I would just suggest to anyone to really press into God and to repent for all the men that you have allowed to violate you and just try again. You know, there is going to be a man who loves him some What's her name? Megan Pete. There's going to be a man who loves you, and but you just have to stop 
and turn around and find God. And this Cobra, tying your brand to a Cobra is, is not it. I got the selfie light. This is the selfie light. Let me see if you can see it. I'm not gonna open it right now, but this is what it looked like. They have them for like $8 on TikTok, but I got mine off of Amazon. I'm gonna play with it later. I just was opening everything up to see what I got. But yeah, Megan and Stan, you're gonna have to, you're gonna have to figure out, figure it out, babe. Y'all are gonna have to figure it out. I don't know anything to tell you but find God. You can't play with it. Nicki Minaj, you're gonna have to ask somebody to help deliver you from your Roman demon. You know that you call on, those are called demons. And you can't call on the name of Jesus and call on your demon in the next breath. It's just, it just doesn't work like that. You're not, it's, that doesn't work. You're gonna be tormented. The devil is gonna find a way to torment you because you can't do that. And just call on Jesus, call on God. I really do pray that he hears you and I don't feel like it's too late, but it, in some cases it might be. I don't know, I'm not the judge, but I would just say to give it a shot. Call on the name of Jesus, stop. Pray, thank God for the success that you have achieved and tell him to God, God, I give you the glory and I denounce any partnership that I've made with Satan because Megan Thee Stallion, you have made a partnership with Satan and you have two Nicki Minaj with this Roman character. So I don't know what to tell y'all. Y'all are just, the vibration is extremely low. There are millions of people who exist in a very, very low vibration. So you won't be hungry. There are people who are going to consume what y'all are putting out easily. You know, the vibration is disgusting, but there are tons of disgusting people who consume your, your work, your art. So you won't be hungry. I would just want you to raise your vibration. My refrigerator was broken. They did bring me a new refrigerator. I'm still in the process of bombing to try to get rid of the roaches. I'm still killing roaches. And we are going to get through this. I have some more news that may be coming, but and I will announce it when everything is signed on the dotted lines. But God is moving in my life, and I'm so thankful. And I just, you know, want to encourage you to keep going, keep trusting God, you know, keep stay holy, stay prayed up, anoint your homes, like I said at the beginning of this video, pray Psalm 91 over your life, and trample some lions and some cobras. And it's not a game to me, it's I have found comfort in the spiritual realm. Testing things out, praying and asking God, what happens if I do this? Or what happens if I do that? And in the safety of holiness, in the safety of knowing that God is my father, he leads me and guides me. And you know, it's not witchcraft. I'm not dabbling in any type of witchcraft, of course, but I do ask God to show me different things and he does it's super it's super powerful of course i'm going to share some more things on my channel as we go i think that is all that's the end of this video for today so thank you so much for watching please like share comment and subscribe and i will see you tomorrow